moments at a Detroit middle school today after a bomb scare on campus. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici has more from Detroit's west side where students were evacuated well, this Well, this morning. is the garage on the Jesu School campus. Those explosive devices were removed from, although the commander on the scene says these devices appear to be decades old. He says that could make them more dangerous to deal with. So it's time the school has been evacuated. The children have been relocated to the campus of the college grounds. A scary situation for students at Jesu Middle School in Detroit today, where a maintenance worker discovered what's being described as explosive military devices. Bomb Squad, Detroit Fire, the ATF and DPD on the scene near Six Mile in Livernois. Residents told to stay put while they try to defuse the situation. We're urging the neighbors to just stay shelter in place. The bomb scare also affected those visiting the area like James Loving, who became blocked in while trying to get a tune up for his car. Well, before I got here, it wasn't blocked off up here. Loving ended up being stranded here for several hours. Drive for Uber and Lyft and I'm, I'm losing money. Eventually, kids were let back in school and an all clear was given. 7 Action News obtained these pictures of the Vietnam veteran era devices removed from a garage next door to Jesu Middle School. You can see DPD bomb squad techs removing a shell from one of the 75 mil projectiles, which are 30 inches in length. Despite being stored here for possibly several decades, police say it doesn't make their job any safer removing them. What could be dangerous? Because the facts are that the older the military ordinance are, the more dangerous. The commander on the scene says how this situation was handled was ideal. He says DPD makes a few runs every year for suspected explosive devices in homes and businesses that may have been found. And he says if you spot one, do exactly what was done right here, leave it alone, and call police. Reporting in Detroit, Gino Vici, 7 Action News.